Hi, welcome to Video Joomla Tutorials, and today we're going to cover another fun and exciting Joomla tutorial. Um, and today we're going to be covering the menu system a little bit. It's the first time we've uh, covered it for you. And we're going to do a, um, a section blog layout, which is very, very common. Um, a very, very common way to display articles in Joomla. It's a good one to get started on. <clears throat> so what we're going to do to start this is go to menus, main menu, and select that. And uh, we need to create a new menu item. So you're going to click on new, articles, and then section blog layout. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is choose the section we're going to be putting out on the web. So Joomla Basics is what we're going to use for that. Then we put in a title. Okay, and believe it or not, we are ready to hit save and we're going to be able to look at something already online. Joomla is that fast. So we'll hit save. Preview. Joomla 1.5 Basics. And you can see that our articles are displayed nice and neat. Uh, we have one leading article, then we have two articles right here side by side in double column layout. And so we have nice double columns, but let's say that we don't want that for some reason. So let's, let's try something else. So go back into Joomla 1.5 Basics. And instead of having a leading article, which is like when you display the whole article, um, we're just going to do intros, which would be read more buttons. I think we only have one in this with a read more button, but that's okay. We're, we'll just do that. And let's say we're going to have up to 20 videos, or 20 articles, so right there. And then uh, we'll change one, make it a one column layout, and we're not going to do it as links. So we'll hit apply. and hit preview and take a look at it now okay there we go it's all laid up straight straight up and down no columns so let's say we don't like where it says last updated uh, Tuesday 23rd June 2009 because we just don't want people to see when things are updated so what we're gonna do there is um, we're going to go into component parameters. Okay. And we're going to go down, down, down. Maybe we should link the titles. Yes, that's always a good thing to do. Go down, 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 down. And modify date and time. And we'll click hide for that because we don't want to see that. And I invite you to go ahead and just experiment with these different parameters. They can do some pretty neat things for you and we'll hit apply okay and let's see what happened okay here we are again and you can see we don't have that um, date down there but our titles still aren't linkable so uh oh what does that mean uh... normally what that means is we have a conflict with what the actual articles have. So we're going to go back to that. We're going to go to the individual articles and see how they're laid out. So we'll hit save here. And content article manager. And we'll just do one of them right now. Okay, and we have parameters advanced. Okay, and title linkable, yes. Hit save. Preview. Now one of these should have, and I didn't see which one, one of these should have a linkable title. Right here, loading extensions. So t sometimes you get those conflicts between article parameters and menu parameters. So there you have it.